we had puppies. Woohoo! I woke up to check on her at 3 o'clock in the morning because I thought, when I went to bed that night, I thought something's definitely brewing. Like, I just had a feeling. And uh, I got up and I thought I saw some movement and I had to turn on the light because I have a little night light watching her. And uh, sure enough, there were four puppies laying there. <laughs> so she just took care of business while we were sleeping. It was hilarious. Hey, Missy. Hey, Nanny Dot. Oh my gosh. I had gotten some really decent, unique things that I just had to get on and, and show you some of my new tools. Woo. Well, you know how I am about Yorkies. So I always get a Yorkie calendar for Christmas. And there's so many cute puppies in this one. All right, so check it out. I got a cordless stapler. And this is so cool because when my husband got it, he researched. I also have um, a Milwaukee um, PVC pipe cutter. I mean, it just looks like a guillotine. It just goes through PVC pipe like butter, okay? So my... Um, my charger works with this battery. So this was awesome because I have one that I have um, with a compressor and it's not something I can drag in here and use while I'm working. I mean, this you just turn it on and so I can't wait to use this. I have some new blockheads coming up and this will be great. I can show you it in action when we get those finished. Hey Vicki, how are you? Yay! <laughs> Vicki got her sign. It's like all of a sudden the floodgates have opened up and everybody's shipping is getting to their destination finally. Like I shipped something the beginning of December, December 8th. My customer did not get it until the day before Christmas because it went to North Carolina and back again. We both live in Pennsylvania, so. Ooh. And then I got the cutest little dish that I can put my earrings on that says best Nana ever. So that was really awesome. What else? Say? Oh, I got this with my little grandson on it. Isn't that adorable? I went ahead and I grabbed all the links for most of the items here. So if you saw something you liked, there's a link for you. Okay, this is one thing, and I'm standing on it. It's really big. I have one of these in my kitchen, and this is an anti-fatigue cushion mat. I feel like I'm already taller. I feel like I'm an inch taller already <laughs> standing on this mat. But when you're standing here for an hour or so doing a live, let me tell you, this is so comfortable. And like I said, I have it at my kitchen sink. So this is from Sam's Club. I put the, uh, the um, link in there. Again, I'm standing on it. Okay. Who doesn't like a great mirror? Okay. I had one of these a long time ago, and my husband broke it. And I've been working with this tiny little mirror. When you do your own hair, believe me, it's nice to be able to see what you're doing. And with this one, I can really see what I'm doing. So that was an awesome present. Okay. I have been wanting a hand sand sander for the longest time. And my husband knows how I like the arrow duck. What's the, how do you pronounce it? Oh, where it's aeronomical or whatever, it, it fits the palm of your hand, like your mouse, okay? This is actually a mouse sander, all right? And now that I'm doing the blockheads, I need something simple. I don't want to plug it in. I don't want it vibrating the heck out of my hand. I just want something simple. He even went ahead and got me a huge box of the uh, sanding discs. And what they do is they fold over the side. It's Velcro. Check that out. It's simple. 
and that's all I wanted was just a simple hand sand, hand sander that I could put my fingers on and it would fit the palm of my hand and not be so draining you know what I mean because after you're sanding you want something that's comfortable you don't want something that's fallen out of your hand so I did put that in there hi Faith hi Kathy oh I know those mats are awesome so this is one of my new tools it's just velcro and look a whole box of them and and when I got the um, stapler it came with a little book and and the book has a ton of tools in it I said to my husband uh-oh <laughs> I love tools I always want tools so and he knows that so he's okay with it <laughs> All right, so that's another item. Okay, I wanted oven mitts. I wanted a really decent pair of oven mitts. And I just went through all my packages today and I'm trying to sort everything and put it where it needs to go. These are called Big Red House. Okay, this company is Big Red House. These oven mitts have a lifetime warranty. You get a card in with your order, and then you go online and you register. They also have a Facebook page full of recipes. So I put that in there. I think these are the coolest thing. It has silicone on here. So it makes for easy gripping, so it's not gonna like slide out of your hand. They have other products too, um, but I thought that might be something everybody's interested in really really soft inside <laughs> so it's called big red house lifetime warranty and I thought for oven mitts I thought they were pretty reasonable I didn't think they were outrageous in price either and who knows lifetime warranty right okay this was another cool thing that I got for Christmas these are called stasher reusable silicone storage bags now you can, they're microwave safe, dishwasher safe, fridge friendly, oven strong, and you can even put food in here and boil the food. Check this out, like, and, and okay, you, when you go to clean them, now I can't open it, here we go, I have to open it at that end. When you go to clean them, you just put them in your dishwasher like that, and it washes them. So you can, you can put stuff in here and put it right in hot water. How cool are they? So the reusable silicone storage bag you can cook in. So is that not the neatest thing? I never heard of them before. Has anybody seen these? Hi Dawn. They're called Stasher. Cook it, freeze it, store it. And then dishwasher safe. Plastic free. Are they not the coolest thing you ever did see? I can't wait to try them out. So that was really cool. Then I got the sweetest book, I Love You Grandma. And my husband got one, I Love You Grandpa. So can't wait for the grandkids to come by so we can read to them. That was really cool. Now this thing, I don't know if any of you know, okay, I'm always rearranging furniture. I'm always changing things up. My husband is so sick of me moving furniture. He hates it when I say, I need to move this because it's usually him and I that do the moving, okay? He found this on QVC. It is a furniture moving kit. It's called Easy Moves, and it's on QVC. It's got a little bag here. It has different little slider things, like different sliders for carpet, different sliders for hardwood floors. You put this under your furniture. Have you, have you seen this? I know, right? Okay, this thing here, you use, it has a little, little thing here. You tuck it under your furniture and you lift it up. 
Then you put your sliders under it and then you let it down. And then you just glide the piece of furniture over the floor. Whatever surface, they have sliders in here for every surface. Is that not cool? I'm always moving furniture, always. And I get tired of waiting for them to help me and then I do it myself and I shouldn't. <laughs> so I thought you guys would get a big kick out of that. And again, I put the link in there. Um, QVC has them for like 40 some dollars. This thing is gonna get so much use. It was actually developed by a father and son. They install carpet and they're sick of moving furniture because when they install the carpet, they'd have to move the furniture. So this saves them. Is that not cool? I can't wait to move something. And it'll probably be this week. <laughs> so I can hear my husband now, he'll be grumbling. But with that, it should be easy. Then the best thing of all. I got my floral pick. Woohoo! I have to get the picks. <laughs> I know, right? Well, he knows I get tired of waiting for him. Hi, Thana. Don't worry about it. So, yeah. This, this is going to save me. He didn't even know what it was. I don't think most men do. So I had to show him. But yeah, I'm, I'm totally excited about all my gifts. I think way beyond what I ever expected. Um, I mean, look at that little guy. Is he not the cutest? <laughs> and I, I wanted to say to her, I can make these, you know because that's just sublimation on there, but oh well. So yeah, they, and, and this thing, oh my gosh, tush, tush, tush. I can't wait to use it. It's not that heavy and it has a nice grip on it too. So why is it telling me my battery's running low? Let me plug it in real quick before I lose ya. Got to plug it in. I was just so excited to show you everything. <laughs> so yeah, in the top I listed all all of the uh, links to these items because I thought, you know what, you guys might be interested in some of this stuff. So yeah, you'll be able to find it. And I think the moving kit's on sale this week. So so yeah check it out but these mats these mats are incredible in fact the one that I had at my kitchen sink I brought brought it in here hey Willie so it's now under my feet my kitchen one and then this nice one went in the kitchen so so yeah there's my gifts all right now now I have been working really really hard all day trying to get things in order these are my new signs now remember I told you this sign this leprechaun was gonna have a sign that he matched I just have to finish his hat okay so that's gonna come as a set and I have a light background and a dark background it says welcome luck of the Irish to you so those are two of my new signs. I can't wait to show you the rest. I'm gonna try and do this without anything falling. Woo. Okay, these are gonna actually be, this one just says love. It's three gnomes. I will actually be making these little gnomes into wooden figures. Okay, so they're going to come with the sign. Um, I found some ribbon that would match this. This goes perfect. It also has purple in here and silver, so those are colors you can use. It also has a little bit of blue. 
this like um, turquoise um, blue. So there's those colors. And like I said, you'll be able to purchase the three little gnomes with it. Thank you. They're not going to be as big as my normal gnomes. They're only going to be about just a little bit bigger than the ones in the sign. Okay. But look at all that glitter. We love glitter. Don't we, Willie? <laughs> all right. So there's another one. This one I love. Okay. This was purchased from Craft Outlet. I may be able to get some and have it in the shop. I'm not sure. But see how the pink and the red, and then there's a little bit of tan and, and gold through there. Okay. Love is sweet. We've got those colors going around in the border. <laughs> and I don't know, I may do something with the little cupcakes because he's sitting with a couple cupcakes in front of him. Okay, I'll try and like do it right here and hopefully that'll work. <sighs> Sorry. Does that help better? There we go. <laughs> I'll have to do. I don't know what I did and I'm not sure how to undo it. So I think we're we're messed up here. That's all right. All right, here is the next one. Now there will be a block head that will go with this design. It's Be My Valentine. And I went with the Fleur de Lis because I have a ribbon that matches it perfectly. Isn't that cute? She's gonna have floppy red hair too. So that'll be awesome. But that's my little Raggedy Ann, Be My Valentine. I'm not gonna mess with it, Dawn. I already screwed it up. I think I'm good. <laughs> so there's that one. Then of course, you know me and my gnomes. All right. This ribbon, I showed you this the other week. This also came from Craft Outlet. We now have two gnome signs. And the border, whoop, the border matches this ribbon. Isn't he cute? Look at that. Let me get it in there for you. There we go. Isn't he adorable? So I will have something that goes with this. And then we have it in the rectangle. Aw, thanks for the hearts. That's appreciated. A lot of a lot of creativity goes in these signs. I've been working hard for days. Alright. You know me and my cows. There we go. I love cows. Got a lot of colors that you can pull from. You could pull the red out of there. You could pull this pink out of there. You know we all have the black spotty cow ribbon. I'm trying to get it so it's not so... There we go. So at least you could see some of the pattern in there. Sign help. There you go. That's better. So there's the cow one. Then I need your help with something because I'm not sure which one to release. And don't tell me I lost it already. 
No, I did not. Okay. I actually have this one. You belong to me. All right. These are both the same on the inside, you know, the same designs, just different backgrounds and borders. So I kind of want your opinion. Which one do you like better? Do you like this one? Whoops, move it over here. With the white background. Or do you like this one with the pink background? Or do you like both? Or should I, I put them both as an option? You like this one? It's more pink with red and yellow. And I mean, look at all the colors you can pull out of that one. See the little dots in the background? I can't remember which was the first one. <laughs> I might end up just listing both of them. And that way, I mean, there's so many, so many different options here of which, what your color scheme could be. Your color palette. So there's the other one. So we've got the ribbon to match the borders on that one. Then, where is it? You know me and my snowmen. I still like to carry them through Valentine's Day. Now that's got this like mauve color with the slight brown um, polka dots in the background. So you got several colors through here. The one ribbon that came to mind, which I have in my shop, was this one. You know, that was my favorite one of this season. There we go. Yes. I always have to do something, one or two items primitive. But I thought, okay, you got this color. This one, the, all the colors are in that sign. All right, you can pull the burgundy out of there, which is in the heart. You've got brown in there. You've got greens in there. You could pull anything out of there. So I think I've, I've done pretty good with my ribbons. I still have to do something with this one. I have borders already set up for this one and this one so there's going to be more coming uh, more red with gray and then I have these two I love this one because it's got glitter through it and then this one so there's still more to come but for right now that was pretty much what I've got so far. Now, why am I split? I should be watching the computer because the computer is what's showing for you. There we go. I shouldn't be watching my my uh, phone. I should be watching that. So, what what are your thoughts on the new signs? Do I got it or? Do I need to go back to the drawing board? Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I always like to have s snowmen that there are hearts in the sign because to me, this is now, 
but this can take you through Valentine's Day. Because for most of us up north, we're having snow now, and it's still cold. And it'll be this way up until March. So, so there we go. There's the one B. There's the other B. There's my cow. And he's kind of primitive, too. <clears throat> but we'll have blockheads in the B to match the sign. We will have some gnomes to match the gnome signs. I say we. I should just say me. <laughs> and then we will have a little raggedy end to match... And I'm thinking of doing some cupcakes because I think some cupcakes with these would be awesome. And then, of course, my three guys will have um, some blockheads to match those. And we've got my leprechaun, my tin can leprechaun to match that. Why did my screen go off? Okay. So there we go. Hey, thank you. You'll have to go back and watch the replay and check out my Christmas presents. They, they were just... I love my tools. And, um... Willie, did you get your pick? Because I got mine, girlfriend. But I was showing my cordless stapler. Woo! I didn't put staples in it because I was afraid I was going to shoot my computer. So we've got that. We've got my hand sander. That fits the palm of my hand and the discs velcro to it and i showed my furniture moving kit <laughs> yay oh i thought you were going for the pick machine okay no problem no problem as long as you got what you wanted but yeah. Now, do I bring in a puppy? Does anybody want to see a puppy? Woo! When's your birthday? 